Well, how did this episode, did it make you think about all that? Well, yes, but I never felt, and I could be fooling myself, I never felt that it, it was signaling the time for the curtain to come down. Right. You know? I, everybody, I mean, other people showed up in my life. Aaron, I must say, I wrote a lot of thank you notes to people because I heard from everybody. I heard from anybody I've ever had anything to do with. Well, how did that make you feel? Got well, it made me feel... It made me feel uh, humble. Um, and and thankful uh, their support meant a lot. You think? But I remember Ralph saying to Jack Hook as I as I as I got in with the folks to do the final jam and everything because I was just visiting the festival. I was still playing the C train. I remember hearing Ralph saying it was funny. He said I had a mustache and my hair was down by almost to my shoulders. And Ralph, I heard Ralph say to Jack, "There's someone here whose mustache is longer than their hair." <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was embarrassed, you know. And and but it was a joke, you know what I mean? It was like no, you know, he had a sense of humor. And he was so country. I I just I mean. You know, and I, then I realized that those guys were not really looking down. They were just coming from such a different place. You know, I got to know him. I was speak. lucky that way, yeah. I mean, I just... Oh, you got to know him? Yeah. I got to yeah, know him. I, he stood there yeah. my first interview I did. Well, I interviewed him like six times or something. So I'd always hang out on the bus. and I'd, It helped that I was from West Virginia and used to contrary old Appalachian gentleman. That's what it my luck was and you know i handed him my first i handed him my first article with him and he, he, he said well stand here a minute and he read it right in front of me and i was dying i'm like oh my god he's not gonna like it i mean he read the whole damn thing with me standing there and i felt like i was in front of a school teacher <laughs> you know i you said you know beyond political parties beyond anything the the bluegrass hardcore are contrarians. Oh lord! <laughs> that's what that's what they are. You said it. Contrarian. <laughs> Jimmy that's Martin, good God. Did. Hey, I have to compliment you, man. That interview you did with Jimmy Martin is, I think, his last interview. Close that to is last. one. That is one of the most honest, heartfelt interviews. I mean. Jimmy Martin really opened up to you, man. He really opened up, and he talked about Bill, and he talked about his understanding of Bill, and why Bill was such so contrary to Jimmy Martin. You know, you know, he he gave Jimmy a hard time, man. And his feelings about oh, yeah, his feelings good, and feelings bad. It was like, well, I'm gonna hold my ground and not be walked on, but I love the guy, you know. I I. I read this interview somewhere that you did with him, and it, it it was very moving to hear Jim. You know, Jimmy was on the defensive and played clown a lot, and but he was he was brilliant. He was a real deal. All those guys, you know. Yeah, I did. The, it was my one and only. So it was a year before he died. Uh, so yeah. Well, boy, you can proud of that. When are you going to do the book of the book of great? Conversations you had. It's coming. It's, it's coming. 